Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Tenergy. This is the TN299 Universal Hybrid Charger uh, for recharging rechargeable batteries. You can get this on Amazon at the time of this review for $32, and I'll have that link in the description below where you guys can check that out. Uh, with Christmas coming up and a lot of other things going on, uh, batteries are going to be a big deal in a lot of households. Uh, I have some rechargeable batteries myself for things uh, that don't have built-in batteries. I just like the fact that you can use rechargeable batteries instead of throwaway batteries. It's just a greener way of doing things. Uh, so I got a message from Tenergy and they wanted me to do a review on the TN299. Uh, it's a four bay LCD charger here. It does NIMH, NICD, lithium ion and, and LifePo four batteries. Uh, you can, obviously you don't want to tr uh, charge uh, lithium ion and uh, LifePo four batteries at the same time. So they have a switch for those, uh, but all the rest will be auto detected. Uh, it's got a nice LCD display built in the front, built in protection for safe operation, uh, you know, over circuit protection, uh, independent charging bays, uh, worldwide uh, 100 to 240 volt AC input, uh, very nice charger from Tenergy. So let us take a look on the back here. There are specifications that we can go over really quickly. Uh, this particular charger is very cool because it will actually do... Um, 18650, 14500, 10440 batteries, double uh, A's, triple A's, C's, D's, and it'll even do nine volts, as you can see from in between the channels there. There's a spot to do rechargeable nine volts. So you can pretty much cover most of the basics. Uh, 18650 for you eSig users out there, uh, they're very common batteries. Um, you know, uh, your double A and triple A's. Uh, for your uh, rechargeables and even that 9 volt for those pesky um, uh, batteries that you'll need for uh, to replace in your smoke detectors here in the United States, that type of thing. Uh, it, you've got all that. It's got a 13 hour safety timer, reverse polarity and short circuit protection, uh, auto stop after charging is complete. Two charging modes, a lithium ion and LifePo 4. So you've got constant current and constant voltage for each one of those. Uh, and then your uh, NIMH, NICD is constant current, uh, uh, current with uh, AV termination there. So you've got that as well. Uh, input is going to be AC uh, 110 to 240 volts at 50 to 60 hertz, DC 12 volt and 24 volt. Your output is going to be, uh, depending on what batteries you're doing, and I will leave this up here if you want to look for your specific battery type here. Uh, you've got your DC 4.2 volt, uh, 520 milliamps times 4, 850 milliamps times 2, DC 3.6 volt, 425 milliamps times 4, 850 milliamps times 2, and DC 1.848 volts at 425 milliamps times 4 and 850 milliamps times 2. Reverse polarity, short circuit, and input voltage protection are, are all covered here by Tenergy. Now, if you want to check out Tenergy, and I suggest you do, they sell batteries, they sell chargers, and a ton more stuff. You can go check them out at www.tenergy.com. You can also email them at sales at tenergy.com if you would like to. Uh, they're... Uh, corporation here is based out of Fremont, California. So let's get this open, show you guys exactly what this thing looks like. Uh, it's packed up pretty well. Here is the unit itself. Uh, there is a charge uh, DC input here. Uh, again, we'll go over that in just a second. And they do give you a uh, instruction manual that's fairly basic, but okay. Uh, they go over most of the stuff we've already gone over uh, as far as, as the charge currents on all these, which again, I'll leave this up for the charge timetable. Uh, your AAA batteries will take about 1.5 to 2.5 hours. Your AA's will take 1.6 to 3.5 hours, depending on the battery. You know, obviously they make different ones. AAA's 
uh, from 500 to 1200 uh, milliamps uh, and then you've got 1300 to 2800 milliamps and then uh, it goes up from C and D uh, you know your 9000 milliamp D batteries are going to take up to 11 hours to charge your 4500 milliamp C batteries will take up to 5.6 hours and so on so I'll leave this up here uh, if you want to freeze it and check it out you can do that uh, and then your charging method inputs are all right here uh, so that you can check those out as well. Uh, but they've got a lot of good information on here. The battery status indicator is really uh, a decent uh, visual indicator uh, that you have on this unit that works really well. So the unit itself is constructed. I mean, it's all out of plastic. It's a hard ABS plastic. There's some venting on the back, which is nice. I like to see that on chargers, definitely uh, having some sort of venting uh, so they don't overheat if you've got them on there for a long time. Again, you're going to get all of the uh, charging voltages and uh, char approximate charging times based on your milliamp uh, per battery uh, and then your specifications that we already have here as well uh, that we've already gone over. Four feet on the bottom make this guy stick pretty good on your desk. Uh, you, on the front you're going to have a, an open button here. This will open up the front latch uh, and then you're going to have uh, spring-loaded um, spots here uh, and two slots for nine volts. Uh, you're going to have four slots across here that will accommodate your, uh, you know, your triple A's, your double A's, your C's, your D's, uh, your LifePo batteries, all of that will go into here. So uh, on the front, again, you will have that LCD screen uh, and then you have a switch here uh, to the left is going to be uh, lithium ion, to the right is going to be LiPo 4. So you've got that and uh, the back has the plug in for the DC. So let's plug this in real quick and we will charge up a couple batteries just to kind of show you what the operation looks like. I was pretty impressed with this charger. I'm very impressed uh, with the amount of different battery types that this charger supports. That is a huge, huge deal. Uh, you can pretty much charge almost anything that you can think of, uh, including 9-volt batteries, which is awesome. Uh, they did a really good job at uh, making this a really universal charger here. So uh, I was pretty impressed with that. So we'll open this up and we'll put in a couple different batteries. I've got some double A's and I've got some triple A's. These are EBL batteries, uh, but very simple to go here. You just kind of slide it in and uh, let it go. And you're going to see that the third bay now has a battery indicator here and it is charging up. When it gets full, uh, this will automatically shut off. Uh, so you just pretty much set it and forget it type deal. Uh, I've got a double A here. This is a 2800 milliamp battery. Uh, we'll stick that in there as well. And then you've got your third and fourth bays going. Uh, and we can just continue to stack batteries in. Um, and it doesn't really matter which slots we stack them in. Uh, they will all uh, fit in there. And they've got uh, two, if you can see, kind of right here on the back, two of these metal nipples in case you've got the larger D batteries, uh, you know, and they won't reach the bottom one. They'll have one at the top here. So they did pretty good at uh, arranging the depth of these as well so that you can get the bigger batteries in. Also, as you notice, there are the two slots for your 9-volt batteries, uh, one here and one here, uh, so that if you do need 9 volts or if you do use 9 volts, uh, you can recharge those in here uh, along with four other batteries. So you can basically do six batteries at a shot, um, you know, if you include the two 9 volts, but you can do four, uh, you know, four D cells, four C cells, or a, a mixture of um triple A's and double A's like I'm doing right now. It doesn't matter whether you have these in pair. Uh, they are independent slots. So if I just want to charge one battery, I can do that. And, you know, on the screen here, it automatically knows what kind of battery it is, lets you know. Again, if you're going to do uh, LifePo battery, uh, LifePo 4 batteries, you're going to want to alter that switch and you should not uh, try to charge uh, you know, NIMH or uh, NICD batteries along with, at the same time, with the LIPO4 batteries. So don't do that. But other than that, uh, as long as you're not using LIPO4 batteries, uh, just make sure you charge those by themselves. And then all other batteries can just be on this main switch to the left here. And you can just pretty much plug and play and go. Uh, you can put this down if you want. I, I mean, it keeps dust out. Uh, I don't really see a need to have uh, a lid on here. It's attractive. It 
is kind of cool to have the lid there uh, and it does keep dust out uh, but I don't really see any other reason uh, other just than uh, aesthetics it's a nice uh, top it snaps into place uh, and it will kind of keep things looking you know better than if it didn't have a top so it's more for looks I think than anything else uh, Tenergy did a great job on the TN299 this is a great overall charger that will be able to charge pretty much any kind of rechargeable battery that you can think of uh, and it will do again uh, up to four different cylinder batteries and two extra nine volt batteries at the same time uh, so you shouldn't have any problems with that uh, when you do a nine volt battery and unfortunately I don't have a nine volt rechargeable here to test it'll come up uh, instead of a cylinder type it'll come up with a uh, a square nine volt that looks exactly like this except for just the shape of its different you'll get the lines going up and everything uh, this is a good charger overall solidly built uh, very versatile uh, Tenergy did a great job on this so with uh, Christmas coming up and a lot of rechargeable batteries uh, you know for toys and uh, the kids and everything else or if you're just like me and have a ton of gadgets around uh, and some of them take uh, batteries that aren't built in this is a great charger I'm definitely giving it a thumbs up this was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review if you have any questions or comments about the Tenergy TN299 rechargeable station please leave those in the comment section below I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll check you guys out on the next video.